All right, I call this game the best rock, paper, scissors battle. And the reason for that is I've played a lot of different rock, paper, scissors games in phys ed classes, and this is my personal favorite. This one's for grades kindergarten to eight, and you'll need just hula hoops. And I'm sorry, I don't actually know who to credit this game to. I saw it online quite a while ago, and I tried it out with a bunch of different phys ed classes, and it's super fun. So it starts by uh, you're going to place down a whole bunch of hula hoops in a line, and on the second last hula hoop on both sides, you can place a different color if you'd like. You don't have to, but I like to do that that way. And one team lined up along one end, and the other team on the other end. And it's a big championship battle. It can last the whole class if you'd like. And the idea is, so the first player from each line will enter the hula hoops area. And the goal of the team, the red team, the player is going to try and earn a point by getting to into the second last hoop on that side. And same thing likewise, the blue team, the player is going to try and get to the second last hula hoop on the red team side in order to earn a point. And so as a teacher on the go signal, you yell go, and they're going to start hopping. Two feet hops, bunny hops towards each other. And when they meet up, then they're going to need to do their rock, paper, scissors. And if they do the same thing, so both had scissors there, then they just redo it until they get uh, one winner. So, okay, here the red player had rock and blue had scissors, so the rock beats the scissors. The blue player will then need to go into the back of that line. And meanwhile, the red player will continue forward, and the next blue player will hop in quickly, and then they'll meet up in a different spot. And wherever they meet up, that's where they have to do rock, paper, scissors. So they've done it here. We see the blue player's scissors has beaten the paper from the red. So that red player needs to jump out of the line, and the blue player will continue on. The next red player should be jumping in, but that player is sleeping, not paying attention. And so that hurt the team a little bit there. So they always have to be aware and prepared. So they've met there, and they're going to do the rock, paper, scissors. It looks like the blue team there, the paper beats the rock, so that red player is out, and the blue player continues on and has made it actually into that hoop, so that is the uh, winning hoop. Blue team has won a point. And you can do a point system up to five, ten points, something like that. Uh, that was uh, that was actually a short round. So some rounds are short, uh, some are long. I've had rounds that went over ten minutes back and forth, and the kids are just having a blast, cheering each other on, and it's uh, super fun. Uh, you can do girls versus boys if you'd like. You don't have to, but that's another idea. I've asked the class, hey, you guys want to do girls versus boys? They're like, yeah, 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 let's do it. So uh, yeah, we did that quite a few times. Um, you can have it instead of the bunny hops, you can have one foot hops to make it a little more challenging if you've got an older group that you like to do that with. And the players that are in line, they're not actually going to stand in line for very long. But if you think they're standing too long in line and not doing so much activity, you can have them balance on a foot while they're waiting. Or every time a new player jumps into the hoops, you can have them do an exercise like jumping jacks, like maybe three jumping jacks, and then they switch. And uh, yeah. Again, I don't know who to credit, but thank you whoever it was who originally came up with this idea. If you've enjoyed this game, please hit subscribe for more games, and also visit physedgames.com.